Hey, hello, good evening. How are you today? I hope everything was fine and that you had a very good day. So it's time for the English class. So as usual, we're going to check the platform. So this is it, the class of today. We are, we have two more weeks to go. So we're going to finish around October 11th, I guess. So, and this is the question for you tonight. So, and, uh, also, it's supposed we have finished already the, the first part, right? Let me tell you, let me update you how is everything going. Let me just check into that one. Uh, let's see. Okay, Ada Cáceres is missing part of the first week, part of the second week, and also the midterm test, one part still missing. Okay, for, uh, well, everybody knows that there are some problems in the first part, right? So the first week, the maximum that you can get is 76. So uh, if you have 76 on the first week, that is the best that you can do by now. So, and uh, if you have less than 76, then you need to move on into that one. So Ana Claudia is fine. Everything is fine with you. Danny uh, is missing mm -hmm. part of the of the week two, okay? And also the midterm test. And uh, let's see, Fernando is fine. Everything is fine. Francisco is missing everything. Please check your platform, okay? It's very important that you move on into the platform. Let's see, Heidi is fine. Everything is fine with Heidi. Giselle, just, six points that are missing on the second week, but other than that, everything is fine. Uh, Jose Marcos, also four points on the first week. The rest is on the second week, I'm sorry. And then the rest is totally fine. Jose Wilfredo Ayala is missing a little bit on the first week and a little bit on the second. The midterm times is, is fine. Juan Miguel Brand is missing everything. So please check into the platform and do the activities. Uh, Luis Umaña is missing just some parts on the first week. Maria Alejandra is missing just one exercise, I guess, on the second week. The midterm test is fine. Ramon is missing everything. So please check into that one. Roxana Asensio is fine. Everything is fine. Sonia Benitez is missing just a few things on the on the first week. And uh, let's see, um, Suleyma Yvonne is fine, only six points missing on the second week, but other than that is fine. So if you still haven't done, for example, Jose Rivas is missing also some parts. So if you're still missing some parts, please go into the platform and do that one. Yeah, Jose Rivas is missing everything. So it's very, very important that you move on with the platform. And remember that in two more weeks, we will be finishing. So let's move on because, well, I was checking the rest of the platform. It seems that there is no problem anymore. So the only uh, one that is uh, with some problems is the first week, the maximum that you can get is 76. I already reported that one, but anyways, if you have the 76 on that one and you do the rest, you are going to have around 98 or 97%. So it's going to be good enough. Okay, so please uh, finish, finish the, uh, finish the platform, okay? Move on with that one. And uh, now we're gonna check the attendance, of course, which is important for us to move on. Oh, let me just get there. OK, 
Okay. Okay, so Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Good. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Good. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Sorry, sorry. Okay. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. Sonia Guadalupe Benítez de Claros. Present teacher. Good. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Good. Perfect. So we are going to continue with the class. So please just remember that if you still miss some parts of the platform, it's very important for us to move on into that one, okay? Okay, so today uh, we're gonna speak about English, you know, in general. We're gonna start with a little test. This is a test for business English. It's very similar to the ones that we made before. So let's work on that and let's do that together. So let's see, question number one, it says, why is the HR department sending this email to all staff from HR department? Please remember that your manager must agree any holiday dates before you complete a form. So the possible options are to ask staff for some information, to explain how something is done, to tell managers about a problem. B, to explain how something is done? To explain yeah, option B. B, so everybody agrees on B? Agree to church. Agree. Good, good, good. So let's check that one and let's move on. So number two, it says, find jobs requires an agent too. And this is like a profile. Job opportunity, find foods. Description, agent required for nationwide distribution. Some experience in food retail and advantage. Refrigerated van provided. So this is two, own a suitable vehicle for delivery. Be specialist in food distribution. Deliver goods all over the country. Think about it and let me know. Maybe option C. C, deliver goods all over the country. Okay. And the rest of the people? Yeah, C. C, everybody agrees? Yeah. Okay, very well. So deliver goods all over the country. Nice. The other one says, number three, staff should tell Jane Fellows. To all staff, subject accounts course. Staff wishing to enroll to the accounts course should contact Jane Fellows, who needs to know numbers. So this is, uh, shall, uh, I mean, the question is staff should tell Jane Fellows how many people have enrolled for the course, if they are interested in doing the course, which of the courses they have decided to do. Maybe what do you think? A? In I'm order sorry? to know how many people? How many people at A? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, a little A maybe. Okay, how many people have enrolled for the course? Everybody agrees on that? C. 
For me, it's B. B, ha. Huh? We have two A and one B. So, and the rest of the people? A. 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 Okay. So, it seems that A is the winner. So, let's check it out. How many people have enrolled for the course? Number four. It says, contact Neil Smith if you want to. Phone Neil Smith at or a showroom for a free quotation or to arrange a visit from a representative. So you contact Neil Smith if you want to obtain information about the company's prices, arrange a visit to the showroom, speak to a representative about special offers. Think about it and tell me. B. B, arrange a visit to the showroom. Everybody agrees? Mm, could be A. Okay, we have one A and one B. Mm. Oh. No, also, my God. <laughs> could be C also. Mm -hmm. So it's B or C for you? Mm. No, if you say A, right? A or C, I don't know. I say A, but now I... I... <clears throat> to see because this says Paul Nail Smith at our showroom for a free quotation. It's confused. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time, don't worry. No, I will say we see. It's C. Okay, mm -hmm. we have one B and one C, and the rest of the people. I agree with Ana Claudia. C. C. Okay. C. Okay, we have three C's. For Miller A. Okay, we have two A's and three <laughs> C's. <laughs> For me, okay. Which one? A. A. We have three and three. Okay. Anybody else's? For me, oh, okay. I, I told you before. For me, it's letter A because no matter what you do, I think you want to obtain information about the company's prices. Okay. Okay, A. So, one more vote, A or C? Anybody else that hasn't voted? C. C. Okay, let's go with C. Remember that we're gonna check the correct answers at the very end of the test. So let's go with the next questions. Okay, this is a good one. So it says, um, crash course in satisfying your customers. So what we're gonna do here is, uh, we're going to choose an answer here. Are you able to, to see it, right? Yeah? So there are options. You can see, and there are options in every, every, of these ones are going to be options, okay? So we're going to read and you are going to tell me what will be the correct option. So the first one it says, and I'm going to show you there. This is the first one. You suspect that your customer, your customers aren't as happy as they once were. First, existing customers seem to be departing, abandoning, defecting, withdrawing. You, for the competition, almost as far as you can get new ones. Second, your company has started to become the butt of bad jokes and conferences in, in the press. So how do you set about measuring and improving your customer satisfaction? The question is, is going to be departing, abandoning, defecting, or withdrawing. What do you believe? Is the card one according to the reading? Mm. The part no abandoning, abandoning could be. Abandoning. We have one vote for abandoning. Anybody? Abandoning. 
abandoning everybody else's. We have two votes. Abandoning. Abandoning. Okay. So we are going to take abandoning. So it says it's important to see things through their eyes. You can taste this, try, experiment, attempt your service yourself or watch your customers using it. So it's going to be tastes, try, experiment, attempt. Maybe try. Experiment. Try or experiment. Experiment. Mm. Try or experiment, uh, Heidi. Let's give it a try to a try. Okay, so we have try in one experiment. Try. And the rest of the people? One and one by experiment. now. Okay, experiment, I say, two. I say, I say experiment. Experiment. So experiment, right? It seems that that is the, the one that the most of the people mm -hmm. had gotten. Okay, and then it says a forward option is to carry out some qualitative research with your customers. Whichever way you choose, the objective is to identify the topics, subjects, headings, issues on which customers will form their judgment of your service. So you can frame your questions accordingly. Uh -huh. Issues? Issues. Everybody agrees? Issues. Issues. One more. Uh -huh. I yeah. want issues. I think issues by the right. context. Okay, issues. And then it says it would be foolish to think you could know all of those questions, let alone their answers at the outset, introduction, origin, foundation. So, what do you think? Hey, could you please scroll down uh, in the screen? I just see outset introduction. No, the, the I'm sorry, the, the page maybe on your right? Uh, like this. Uh-huh, I don't know if it's my... But it's just this paragraph, so it's going to be about this paragraph. Okay, but what, what are the options? I'm just able to see outset, introduction? Uh, yeah, the thing is that you need to move your, your screen because mm -hmm. I, I'm yeah. showing outset, introduction, origin, and foundation. Those are the options. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> take your time don't worry this is a good practice that we can take advantage of so analyze foundation, foundation. <laughs> maybe okay. outset foundation. also outset maybe. and foundation we have one and one and the mm, rest outset of the and foundation uh -huh. good any other opinion on which is the correct answer We have one vote for outset and one vote for introduction. What mm -hmm. about the rest of the people? Uh, 
Aha. We need to Is, decide. Could I, I'd like to read the whole paragraph. Oh, okay, if you want, yeah, it's going to be like this. For me, it's outset. Outset has two votes, one foundation. Aha, uh -huh, and the rest of the people. Outset. Outset. Okay, we're gonna go with outset. Is the winner. And then it says, but your reputation is at danger, risk, peril, hazard, if you fail to deliver. So which one is the correct answer for this one? I don't know if everybody see the four options. I just see danger, risk. And the real problem is that even if I scroll down, okay. Oh. Ah, uh, they go to down. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's, it's a it's a pull down menu. I, I'm I'm able to see the whole thing here. Mm -hmm. So it's like like that. Okay. So if I uh -huh, if I move it to down, I won't be able to to show the paragraph, uh, but I am able to see the four options: danger, risk, peril, and hazard. I'm sorry, danger, risk, and what? Danger, risk, peril, and hazard. Danger for me. Danger is with one vote. I would say risk. Risk have two votes, and the other person said? Danger, teacher. Danger two, risk one. And the rest of the people? Risk. Risk two and two. Who's in the next to vote? Danger. Danger. Three danger and two risk. One more people, please. I need one more vote. If danger wins, we're going to check into that one. So danger three, risk two. One more vote, please. I changed my mind, teacher. I'm going to change my answer to risk. Risk. Now we have three and three. No, three and two is the opposite. Interesting. One more vote, please. Uh -huh. A person that has not voted yet. Really, nobody else is? Okay, let's go with risk, just because it's the winner on this one. And then it says, uh, I will show you the options here. Don't embark on a customer satisfaction exercise unless you are prepared to act on the results. If you ask people what they are unhappy about and then do nothing about it, you will leave them more disillusioned with you than ever. And remember that it is a aha, going, passing, moving, or traveling target. Today's satisfied customer is tomorrow's board one. So going, passing, moving, traveling. Passing? Passing has one vote. 
And what the are the other two below? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why you are not able to see it. Is there? Oh, there, there you go. Moving, traveling. Ah, okay. So I need now to I move it back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. No, so in that case, I changed my answer to moving. Moving target, okay. Anybody mm -hmm. else's? Moving. Moving. One more, please. Moving. Moving. Okay. Moving. Moving will be it. And then it says a service level that uh, touches, hits, knocks, or strikes the button today may be considered downright sloppy in six months' time. Such is the pace of change. Hits. The hits. And the rest of the people? Hits, one vote. Hits to the chair. Hits. Everybody agrees on that one? I'll go for knocks. Okay, you go to knocks. So we have one knocks, two hits, and the rest? Those. I'm sorry? Touches. Uh, touches. Okay, we have one touches, one knocks, and, one, and two hits, actually. Aha, this is a tough one. Somebody else's? Hello. Anybody else's on this one? Okay, so, well, it's just for one bout. I'm gonna take hits because there's no other people take. Okay. And then uh, we have another one that is kind of the same. It says, read a joinery, experts in wood. And it says, it's going to be the same thing, okay? Uh, read a joinery was established by Gordon Reed 15 years ago as a small company specializing in wooden structures, from floors to staircases. Since then, we have evolved significantly. We attribute our success to the dedication and expertise of our workforce, which, so yeah, the problem is that I have to go to the very bottom, <laughs> like this, ranges, spread, distributes, and expands. Those are the options for the number 12. Just read again the two below. I'm sorry? The, the two options uh, below range spread. Ah, distribute expands. Ah, okay. Distribute expands. Expand. Huh? Expands. Okay, we have one vote for expands and the rest of the people. Expands, teacher. Expands, okay. So let's take expands. And then it says from mm -hmm. six apprentices to permanent employees who are highly qualified and experienced. Read actively, and I move it, encourages, supports, promotes, rewards. So 
that is number 13, employees to progress through the company and many of the current surveyors and site managers launched their careers on the read workshop floor. So it's going to be encourages, supports, promotes, rewards. Encourages. Encourages, so we have two encourages. Anybody else's? Nobody else's? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Encourage. Encourages, Encourage. but uh -huh. maybe supports also. Yeah, those are kind of very similar, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So encourage okay. That is the, the majority, right? So employees to a progress to the company and many of the current surveyors. Uh, we read that already. So let's go to the next. I'm gonna show you the options there. Quality is at the forefront of Reed's philosophy. And each new project, whatever its size is, okay, advanced, focused, worked, handled. Those are the options for number 14. So with the same dedication and completed to the highest quality standards. So it's going to be advanced, focused, worked, handled. Handled. Handle, handle. Yeah. Anybody else's? Okay, let's take handle. Handle. Okay, good. So let's go. Uh, then he says this enthusiasm is reflected in the numerous industry awards the company has received. And here we go with the number 15. At present, Reed is in the, well, concerned, involved, preoccupied, committed, includes numerous blue ship companies such as the BBC and the Shell. So it's going to be concerned, involved, preoccupied, or committed. Involved? Involved, everybody agrees? We had just one vote for involved. What about the rest? Mm -hmm. Involved, too. Involved. Very good. So we have two votes for involved. And the rest of the class? Involved. Involved. Okay, let's take involved then. And then it says, in the refurbishment of a major concert hall in London, with particular responsibility for the stage and acoustic panels. This is our largest project to date oops and is expected to be completed within okay cost budget estimate or funding and on schedule so what will be it budget maybe budget everybody agrees Yes, budget. Budget. And the rest of the class? No. Budget. Good budget. And then we have number 17. Reads a varied prior in Dennis collection, assortment, portfolio, or accumulation. Includes numerous blue chip companies such as Lucy and the Shell. So 
Portfolio. 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 Everybody agrees? Yes. Yes. Portfolio. Yes. Very good. And then number 18. Perhaps one of our most prestigious prizes was restoration work we carried off, on, over, or out. Ah, this is a good one. At Windsor Castle, however, our focus on not upon corporate clients alone, many private residents to have, and we don't see the rest. So it's going to be carry off, carry on, carry over, or carry out. Out would be? <laughs> out. Yeah, maybe out. Out. And the rest carry of the out. Okay, out. It seems that is going to be the one. All right. Last part, okay. Business case study, OFC Cooperative. This we will take a look at the Scottish company OFC Cooperative. And the first one it says, OFC Cooperative is a supplier of industrial chemicals. And in terms of job applications, it is currently one of the most popular employers in Avon. Unlike a numbers of its competitors, which are currently uh -huh, managing, acting, conducting, or running. And that is for this number 19. Which one is going to be? Running. Uh, running, okay. We have running. one vote with running. And the rest of the class. Yeah, maybe running. Running, we have two votes for running. And the rest of the class. Okay, seems that there are no more votes. Let's take managing. Right then. Oh, we have managing, good. Managing at a loss. Mm -hmm. Managing. Two managing and two running. Uh huh. Managing. <laughs> managing is winning now. You're managing amazing. <laughs> you sound like a lottery man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to me, this is very exciting. It's very good. So, because, and you know, it's not only because of the vote, because I want to see the answer, right? And show you the answer so yeah. we can analyze. So, three managing and two running. One more. Managing. Managing is the winner here. Okay. At a loss, OFC has reported its most successful year ever, mainly due to a major new contract year early in the year. The company has plans to expand its core business in the coming year. A key factor, and we're going to show you this, a key factor in the company's success has been its wish to create a highly skilled and motivated workforce, as highlighted in its mission. Aha. Uh -huh statements, announcements, promise, undertaking. So statement. statements, two statements. And the rest of the class. Yeah, statement. Okay, statement, let's take statements. Very good. Then I'm gonna show you 21 already. One of Stuart Green's first action on becoming the new managing director last year was to, okay, assess, value, recon, figure. Okay, his employees training needs. So which one is gonna be assess, value, recon, or figure. Uh, 
Assess. Assess. Everybody agrees? Assess, teacher. Yes, assess. teacher, assess. Assess. Very well. Let's take assess. And then it says, and I'm going to show you 22 already. He then established the training program to enable all staff to work towards nationally and then classified, recognized, identified, regarded qualifications. So it's going to be classified, recognized, identified, or regarded. Classified. Classified. Uh -huh. Classified. Okay, we have two votes on classified and the rest. Classified. Classified seems to be the correct answer here. I'm going to show you 23. And it says the cost of this ambitious scheme was partially met by local enterprise agencies. And then it says, Stewart said that motivating his staff was very important for him, adding as well as making sure employees have access, entrance, availability, admission to training and good working conditions. Uh-huh. Access. Access. Everybody agrees? Access. Access. One more. Admission. Okay, we have three access and one admission. So it seems that the winner is going to be access. Okay, going to show you the number 24. To training and good working conditions, I try to ensure that staff at all ranks, statures, levels, or positions. Which one is the answer? Levels, maybe. Levels, everybody agrees? Levels, one vote for levels. Yeah, levels. Levels, okay. Anybody else? Mm, levels, teacher. Levels, okay, let's take levels. Of the company are fully informed about the activities of the cooperative and made to feel part of a unique organization. The future of the company is seeming, showing, looking, or appearing good. Which one is it? Mm -hmm. Looking. Looking. And the rest looking of the good. looking. Uh -huh. Two votes for looking and the rest of the class. Uh -huh. Looking. Looking. Okay, let's take looking. Ah, here comes the moment. The moment that is the most important on this kind of situation. So let's see how it goes. Okay, uh, here it comes. Okay. <laughs> 19 out of 25. Okay, this exercise actually is very good because it's English for business. Remember, remember that whenever you finish all the courses, you are going to do a certification. That is the TOEIC. The TOEIC is a global test that is for business. 
okay? So this is a very good thing because not exactly like this, but the topic is going to be involved about emails and things like that one. So a lot of vocabulary about business. So let's check. Uh, here's it. Okay. Number one, it was correct. So it was to explain how something is done. So remember the email, right? That it was saying, mm -hmm. please remember that your manager must agree any holiday days before you complete a form. So of course, it should explain how something is done. Good. Number two is correct as well. So uh, it was a requirement for an agent that will deliver goods all over the country. And well, yeah, here, this word is very important, right? Nationwide, that will be it. So remember that sometimes there are two or three more ways to say something, right? Number three was not good. Uh, it says staff should tell Jane fellows. And we say how many people have enrolled already something that happened already. And the email says, staff wishing to wishing. So that is for the future, right? Wishing to enroll for the accounts course should contact Gen Fellows who need to know the numbers. So the correct answer is if they are interested in doing the course because wishing is for the future. Wish, remember that is something that you would like to do, right? So that's why this was what this one was if they are interested in doing the course okay <laughs> let's good good idea remember number four was correct it says contact list with if you want to obtain information about the company's prices in general not better pricing or discount in general and the word that is very important here is Quotation. What is a quotation, my friends? A document where you get that the the offer, the company price or offer you're discussing with the customer. That is very good. So a quotation is like a formal presentation of a pricing, mm -hmm. a document that is going to the, the company says we can do this and this and this at this pricing for you only because you are one of our below customers. So that is a quotation in that <laughs> word. I'm sorry? No, nothing. Yes, that is what we say to the customer because you are a special uh, customer. Yeah, that's what <laughs> we say. It's right? not for everybody, it's just for you. <laughs> <laughs> just for you because we really care about you. Uh, okay. And the answer was to speak to a representative about a special offer. I remember that we did this one. I don't remember. I remember what's this one. Yeah, that was the one of the information. Yeah, that's true. So this was correct. So I remember it was correct. Okay, so let's check the other part. Christ, Christ, the first one was abandoning. And it was correct. Very good. Yeah, because it's abandoning. Abandon uh, is like leaving, right? It's like, mm -hmm. I am not going to be part of this company anymore. Like when we say that with Claro or with other companies, but that's not true. We sometimes we never leave, right? That is not true. Mm -hmm. That depends on many things. And then mm -hmm. it's, the other one was not correct. It is important to see things through the eyes. You can, we say experiment, but the code was try. Try. I thought we choose try. Yeah, I choose the, try. I said, let's give it a try to a try. Uh -huh. yeah, I try. remember that you choose try. Uh, no, but the most of the people say experiment in this one. Uh -huh. Some people say try and some people say experiment. And the correct one was try. Try the service, right? Give it mm -hmm. a shot. Very good. The other one was correct, definitely. Identify issues, the problems, right? That mm -hmm. they have or anything. This one was kind of difficult outset, <laughs> I remember. But at the end, that was like the like the logical one because it's an outset right it's something that's going out it's like the result the very beginning right yeah so let on, uh, actually out the outset is at the end of the process right so mm -hmm. very well very good mm -hmm. this one also was kind of uh, difficult there but we took the one risk very good 
the, uh, when you say at um, risk is an, a very common option at risk the prep uh, the preposition before is something that is very important for this one at risk good moving also very good it's a moving target so it's, it's a target that is not the same all the time right so it's moving back and forth like that and the other one was also very good hit because it's button you hit the button you don't touch the button you don't knock on the button you hit the button okay so that was also very very good okay push the button push can be but push was not an option here as i remember but it's possible uh -huh. yeah. Push uh -huh. is possible. okay okay yeah yeah thank you okay let's check the other one so the first one was not correct we say expands and almost everybody was like with expands but the coil was ranges because it says from six apprentices to apprentices who are already qualified are experts. so it's a range of people mm -hmm. it's like a segment okay it's not mm -hmm. an expansion is like moving on getting more of the market or anything like that mm -hmm. but a range is a, a segment of people right the other one that everybody agrees that it was encouraged so encourages very very good the other one was handled very good and that was also correct and everybody agreed on this one very good the other two were also correct involved good and uh budget okay this was very very easy right it's within the budget within not the cost is within what we expect it to be, right? So definitely was the budget. The next two were also good. Portfolio, what is a portfolio, my friends? A variety of services. Very good. It's a variety of services or products that we can offer to our customer. Good, that is it. And carry out was it, very good. Nice, you were like very good on that one. That was a tough one, was a difficult one. Let's check the other one that is the last one. The first one, it was not correct. Do you remember that running was winning and then suddenly managing mm -hmm. went to the top? So yeah, running. So when we're talking about loss, a loss of money is going to be running because it's still on the move, okay? It's still running something that we can recover in the next quarter or in the next year. Okay, the next one, it was statement. Very, very good. That was very good. Okay, let's check the other part. The first one was good, assess. Assess employees training needs. Yes, because you evaluate, right? You assess. The next one was not correct. We say classify and it was recognized because we were talking about qualification, qualities. We recognize quality. We can also classify, but in this case, since we are going to evaluate, it's better to speak about recognizing and not to classify. Okay, the next one was correct, was access. Uh, the next one was also good level, level of people on the different levels on the company, right? That is very, very clear. And looking good, I mean, that is going to be very clear as well. Looking good, that will be, okay. Uh, so it was a very good uh, result. I mean, I know sometimes it was kind of not sure, but at the end you did very, very well. So what do you think about this exercise, about business English? Mm -hmm. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes we don't find this kind of exercises, but you know, it's very easy for you to move on and, and take him to this one so you can you can uh, practice in different ways, right? Okay, so let me just check. Okay, before we check the attendance, uh, just because there are many other people here, let me just check about the, how is everybody doing in the platform? So um, yeah, I still missing some parts for Ada, Azucena, Cáceres. Um, Anna Claudia is fine. Danny Josue is missing parts of the midterm test. 
Uh, let's see. Fernando is fine. Francisco is missing everything. So please, Francisco, if you're here, and yes, you're here, you need to do the platform, please. Nothing has been done. Uh, let's see. Heidi, you are perfect. Uh, Giselle, just missing a few points in the second week. The rest is good. Okay. Okay. Marcus is uh, just missing a few points in the second week. Very good. Uh, Jose Osmin, you haven't done any exercise. Do you have access to the platform? Everything is working well. Okay, if everything is working well, I, I expect you to move on with the platform, okay? Jose Wilfredo yeah. uh, is missing just a few parts on the first week and on the second week. Midterm test is full and it's fine. Juan Miguel Brand is missing also all the exercise, so please check into that one. Uh, Luis Umaña is missing just a few parts on the first and second week. Not, not many things, very few things. Maria Alejandra is missing maybe one exercise on the second week. The midterm test is already done. Ramon is missing the whole platform. So please check into that one. Roxana is perfect. Everything is fine. Sonia is just missing a few things in the first and second week, but the midterm test is fine, it's perfect. And uh, Suleyma Yvonne uh, just missing a couple of points in the second week, the rest is good, okay? Remember that in exactly two weeks, we will be finishing the platform, so we need to move on, right? We need to check into those, okay? And of course, we're gonna check the attendance. So, Ada, Susana, Cáceres, Mendoza. Perfect. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Good. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present. Good. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Brand Mejía. Present teacher. Good. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Yvette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Good. Sonia Guadalupe Benítez de Claros. Present teacher. Good. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Very well. Okay, my friends, we are going to continue. And uh, well, we are going to check a little video and then you will tell me. You will tell me uh, what did you get from the video, okay? Here we go. Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alejandra. I am a language coach and I help people to successfully learn languages as they enjoy the process of doing so. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below because I make videos every single Friday about language learning strategies, mindset, and success. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how learning English has changed my life. So stay tuned until the end of this video so you don't miss the story. Now, let me give you a little bit of context. Uh, I mentioned this in previous videos, but I was born in Colombia, South America. I grew up in the Canary Islands and I currently live in Madrid, Spain. And uh, I never really had English classes that were good when I was little. Um, my parents didn't speak English either. And I just never went to a bilingual school like most of my friends. And um, yeah, the classes were just basically the typical grammar classes where you just have to kind of fill in the gaps. And uh, we never spoke English in class. And most of the time, the classes in English were given in Spanish. So I was never really exposed um, to, to English when I was little. 
I do remember loving languages. I loved the way that English sounded, although I couldn't really understand anything. And so I learned English by myself. I taught myself English. I would love to tell you more about how I actually did it. So let me know in the comments down below if that's something that would be interesting to you. But honestly, learning English has been the best thing that I've ever done. And I know that everyone says nowadays that it's good to learn English and a lot of people speak it and a lot of people aren't learning it. But I am just going to tell you to what extent English has actually shaped who I am and the way that I carry my life. Now, I'm going to talk about the reasons um, and the ways that English learning English has actually changed my life. But remember, don't forget to subscribe down below so that you don't miss the next videos. Okay, the first reason that English has been incredibly helpful for me, it's because I am married to an American. And if you think that I learned English because of him or that my English is so good because of him, let me stop you right there. That's not true. I already spoke English before even meeting him. I already had a really high level of English. I would say that I had between a C1 and C2. And it was because I spoke English that I was able to build a deep relationship with him. It was because I spoke English that we were able to connect, fall in love, and eventually get married. Honestly, I don't think we would be married if I hadn't spoken English because it's really hard with language barrier. Um, but that's the first way that English has shaped my life. I eventually got married to someone that was from a totally different culture from me. Secondly, the type of content that I love consuming is a lot broader in English. Let me explain. As I mentioned at the beginning, I run a language coaching business in which I help people to learn languages successfully as they enjoy the process of learning a language. And so I am very passionate about entrepreneurship, business, marketing, coaching, helping people find their true motivation, etc. And the type of content that, so this type of content is available, uh, of course, nowadays, but it's a lot broader in English. And so it is because of what I've learned that I've been able to start a business, interact with customers, learn how to serve them better, etc. So you can say that the content that I have been consuming for a long time has shaped who I am. It's, it's, it's helped me to understand what I want in life, how I want to run my business, how I want to serve people, etc. But once again, this wouldn't have been possible if I hadn't spoken English. So trust me, <laughs> learning English is one of the best things that people can do um, and just languages in general. But of course, English right now is the lingua franca. And uh, it's amazing. It's amazing because it really does change your perspective and it allows you to open your mind a lot more. The third reason it's because of the friendships that I have been able to build. Some of my closest friends are actually native English speakers and I am so grateful for them and so incredibly um, amazed at the fact that because of a language, you're able to build so many bonds, etc. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that, you know, friendship is only built on speaking languages or speaking the same language, but at least for me, that's the way that it's been. I've been able to build really close relationships with, with people um, from all around the world, and uh, I am so grateful for that. So my hope for this video is that it inspires you to continue to learn languages. If you are learning English, I super encourage you to continue to do so because there's no telling what life can bring to you just because you have this amazing tool to be able to communicate with the world and not just I don't want you to think about this as I need English for work or I need English for this no there's so much more and there's no telling what it can actually do for you like I said in my case I got married to an American I was able to build amazing friendships and I started my own business in English in which I've been able to learn so much from content that I that I have been able to consume um so I just really hope that you feel inspired and that you don't give up because learning languages like I said opens your mind and your perspective about life in the world Okay guys, this is the end of this video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Okay, what did you get from this video? Well, in the first time, I guess she, she was uh, 
talking about uh, the previous class, she, she never received uh, a lot of English class, I guess. And uh, in her uh, English class always used uh, Spanish. Yeah. And she was from, oh, she's from uh, another country. I don't remember, she was talking very quickly. Yeah, okay. And then finally, let me see. She was uh, saying that her her friends um, are native uh, speakers, okay. and that's why uh, she uh, was motivated to learn that language. And in general, she was talking about the the English uh, up and the open doors, open mind, and transform uh, your work practically because uh, you can uh, looking for uh, another job, another environment, and things, things like that. Okay, very good. Interesting. Yes, she was saying that she was born in, in Colombia, but she had been raised mm -hmm. in Canary Island, and then she lives in Spain. But I mean, yeah, in the classes of English, uh, they were uh, they were in Spanish, so she didn't connect with English. That's so many things that you said very well, perfect. Thank you. So even though she was speaking kind of fast and uh, kind of with a mouth that closed, uh, I guess it was understandable, right? Any other mm -hmm. comment on this? Well, she was encouraging people to continue studying English because she achieved three goals in her life. She was able to build her company uh, studying uh, in English. Also, she got married with an American. She was born in Colombia, but she got married with an American. And also, uh, another thing she uh, was saying is that best... Uh, she considered she has best friends in uh, English uh, be because she was able to communicate in in English. She wasn't also explaining that that doesn't mean that you cannot have good friendship or relationship in your native language, of course, yes. But uh, she was able to approach or to know different people outside uh, her environment and that is the reason why she is encouraging people to learn English because opens the different opportunities in, in all different areas she was saying her business her uh, relationship and also her uh, friendship very good perfect yeah actually that was very interesting actually she says in the video it's not just English for business or English mm -hmm. for school I mean, English is for everything. And you can enjoy your life in a better way if you speak English, mm -hmm. right? That's right? Perfect. Thank you very much. Any other comment or opinion? What's her name, teacher? Okay. What's her name? Uh, her name was, let me just check into that one. Alejandra Rodriguez. That's her name. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think that she is really inspired. Personally, when when I watching uh, some people that uh, that their language is uh, their no, native native language is not English, and they use English very clearly and faster. And I really want to do so because it's important. Like he's, like she say, it's not only for work or for business. It's for for entertainment, for example, for reading. I like reading, so the best book are in English, and I would like to I would like to reading in the in the original language, not in in the translate. I I have reading a lot of books, but it translate books. So uh, yeah, English is very important. Like people say, English open doors, and we need for for many reasons. Uh, personally, I I need not only for my for improve my 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 professional skills. Uh, I need for 
for other, I need for other reason because you know music, uh, uh, movies, series, you know, is very 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 interesting, and I I agree with her when she said that speak yourself is a is a good way to to improve your your um, your, your your what skill is. Uh, I know, and <laughs> yeah. and you're speaking, yeah. So I think uh, it, she is really inspired for me. Very well, perfect. So, uh, yes, you are very right. What it says, uh, I mean, you will be able to to read more things, to to live a, a different world if you actually learn English. Right, almost everything is in English right now. And of course, you are going to open your your world to other experiences. I mean, imagine she got married with an American guy. So maybe that is the visa, right? <laughs> that is a joke. But we never know. We never know. So, and also, friendships, you can, I mean, you can do many, many things. So that is a very good thing. So, uh, any other comments or opinion on this? And I think, teacher, that and the best way to to learn new languages to go to the country where that language is spoken, and yeah, by the pressure that you have to communicate with other people, you constantly will learn bit by bit, and it's the best school learn by by the by the need to to communicate and. But also, uh, I got impressed by the accent, the fluent that she has. So uh, it motivates me uh, because uh, I think that at some point I will be able to get that accent and that fluent if I constantly, like, if I keep on learning and practicing and now just getting the vocabulary uh, I have to practice it that thing to, to sound more natural so definitely yeah I mean uh, the video the main objective is that one to motivate ourselves so for first of all we can continue learning we have all different stories so even if you started 10 years ago or if you started two years ago or uh, why are you learning English or uh, many things. The first thing is for, uh, to continue, right? And also to motivate you to do that in different ways. Um, I understand that the class is the most important because I explain grammar and so also we practice here, but you can practice in many ways. So actually we're gonna discuss about a little bit later, but the first thing is the motivation that you can get. So to be happy learning English. I know that sometimes because of the need we we try to, but it's like it's like math. When you understand math, it's beautiful to to do exercises, right? Of course, when you don't understand, it's it's, it's a pain, right? But uh, if you motivate yourself and if you continue doing many things, you will be able to to speak very fast, very fluent, and with a lot of vocabulary. Remember that even if you I mean, if you are living in the other countries for a lot of years, uh, you are not going to learn all the words that exist, right? Even in Spanish, we don't know all the words. We don't know sometimes the words of a plant or a bird or things like that. So that is normal. But you will be able to communicate very well in with very good accent. So everybody understands you. Good. So I have a question for you. Everybody's going to tell me the answer for this question. How do you believe English will help you in your life? To you as individual, how do you believe English is going to help you in your life? Who wants to be the first one? To help me. Help you in your life. 
well to me helps me to to earn money okay. because um that is <laughs> what i do for a living uh, to sell and talk in english and i'm pretty sure even though uh on a different job i will do the same or more effort than the one that i'm doing right now the payment will be less always and always will be this uh thing this invisible thing that uh, you're getting all and blah 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 and uh, the difference with the job i do is that uh, the time is passing by and it's getting better <laughs> and because the experience you win also uh, the accumulation of your time gives you an opens doors and opportunities to have additional uh, uh, personal days or stuff like that and I don't know for me it's uh, it's helping me to earn money it's my I'm doing my living because I speak English that's it for me is uh, a 80% of my life goes and work and function <laughs> because of English. Okay. Yeah, actually, yeah, that happens. I mean, and the good thing is that you are already enjoying a uh, mm -hmm. different life because, because of English, right? Because as you say, if you weren't doing this one, if you didn't know English, we don't know. We don't know exactly what were be your life like so maybe mm -hmm. a different job maybe more difficult job or maybe mm -hmm. earning less money so earning less money exactly and in a difficult job both things <laughs> yeah that is true very good perfect Anna Claudia and anybody else just wants to share hey teacher go ahead please okay uh, in my case personally uh, I, I don't work for a company that uses English daily, but English um, English has improved my, my skill. Uh, for, for example, I include in my CV that I have uh, some knowledge in English and I, I have three months ago some opportunity for a company that uses English. I had an interview and after a couple of tests, they offered me the vacancy, but for other reason, I didn't take the, the, the opportunity. But uh, before this course, before that I met English Corporativo, I probably, I don't, I'll never apply for, for a vacancy like this. So it's, in my case, English has improved my, my professional skill. And I don't know, I noticed that I understand English because Maybe I don't have the level that this module requires because you know I only take uh, half of the of the class, but I I had improved a lot. I I noticed the the last Friday I was watching the the farewell of Roger Federer and I oh. I almost crying since mm -hmm. honestly I almost crying, but I I understood the the most of his speech and uh, I. I know I was excited for that. So uh, I hope that continue learning and someday maybe I will I, I will use it in, in my work or I don't know, for other reasons. Perfect, very good. That sounds fantastic. Uh, yeah, you know, everybody has different level here. So that is not a big deal. The good thing is that you are trying, that you are speaking here in the class and that you are expressing yourself, so you take the opportunity. Congratulations that you are able now to take uh, all the options for your job. So that is going to definitely, is, is going to be uh, something in the future that is going to help you. And also that you enjoy, I mean, if you watch things in English and you understand that one, you feel very good, not only because the things that you're watching, but also because you understand, right? So it's a very, very good thing. Nice, thank you for sharing, Fernando. Okay, anybody else that wants to share?
Be teacher. Okay, go ahead. Uh, well, in my case, uh, I think uh, the idea to learn uh, English is uh, for uh, have more opportunity for growing in my in my company. Um, uh, uh, and the and the other thing uh, 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 is uh, have the opportunity to uh, expand uh, my my circle the for uh, friends, uh, for example, uh, uh, because uh, in, in the future uh, I. Uh, I have an uh, idea that they uh, live in uh, another country, for example, uh, 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 in Canada, uh, and they uh, uh, learn uh, English. I, I think uh, it's possible that they uh, open a uh, different door, but, uh, but the, this plan or this idea uh, can be realized in the future teacher. And the other uh, is a uh, other uh, idea that I have uh, is uh, I have my own business. And the English is an uh, uh, opportunity or, or uh, is a, a skill, right? Yeah. Uh, for for uh, a, in a, have a business and try to to grow. Try try to uh, uh, maintenance and the the business. The have the opportunity for uh, expand the business to the other area. This year. Very good. Yeah, that is very nice. Also, that you have the plans already on what to do, and definitely English is going to help you. Uh, it's very it's very important. You know that. Everybody, we wish to have a better life, and this is possible because of English. I mean, as uh, we analyzed before, right? Uh, yes, maybe you are an engineer, and maybe you have very good skills, and you are a very good person, and you are a hard worker, but English is going to open many, many doors for you to show all those things to many other people. So very good that you have your plans for the future. Nice. Any other person wants to share? Uh, me teacher. Perfect. In, my, in my case, I want to learn uh, to speak um, equal and to read uh, be better. Uh -huh. uh, since I eat uh, with beautiful no, user, no, be user, useful. Okay, yes. uh, when I travel in the in my home, eh, perdón, my home, <laughs> my home, my work, my work okay. is, is necessary uh, by my my functions in my work. Um, also, is very important uh, el English, the English, uh, because is um, a language. In, in all work, world, world is very important. And I speak. Okay, very good. Thank you, Sonia. That is true. I mean, if you use that in your job, it's going to be easier for you to understand, right? And it's going to be a very good tool for you to work in a better way. And you are also right. I mean, since that is the uh, most spoken language around the world definitely uh, there are many opportunities there waiting for you so whenever you have the chance you can take very good perfect thank you okay, okay. good any other person wants to share in my case teacher a, a couple a couple of years ago I 
had the opportunity to visit uh, Trinidad and Tobago. So uh, it was uh, a travel uh, related to my, my technical activities, but uh, most of the institution that, that which I am working, not my, not my, um, not my technical activities, okay, or not my technical duties. So for me, it was a, a, a challenging situation because I went to the country and, and all the all the meetings, all the events that uh, were in in this island uh, was or were in English. Uh, most of people were using a, a help a headset, yeah. When uh, where uh, there were there was a interpreter. So for me, uh, I tried to listen the interpreter, obviously in Spanish. But uh, there was a moment when when I decided to to remove that that headset from my my from my ears and uh, I could understand uh, most of the things that they were talking about. They were talking about uh, um, Bitcoin, uh, blockchain and some things like that, uh, kind of technical issues or technical situations, but uh, mm, I could understand, and so I was like uh, surprised because I never knew that that I had this uh, level, if we could uh, call this, uh, and for me, is is uh, as a particular situation when uh, where, where I. Um, obtain a result uh, through the through all this uh, learning path yeah mm -hmm. uh -huh. and okay my English is not very good but I, I think uh, among all these people uh, if I if I was understanding the meetings and all the topics that they were talking about uh, for me it was kind of amazing because at the end you see the results maybe uh, in my case i don't i don't uh, speak in english every day uh, my job is in spanish but uh, this this was uh, one of the situations where you see all the time that you were uh, um, dedicating in order to learning this this language, and I I don't know maybe obviously it's one of the most important things that I achieved because uh, the opportunity was there uh, and there was no other people in my department who who talked uh, English, I, I couldn't say very well, but at the level that, that I had in, at the time. So I, uh, this opportunity uh, came for me and I had to, I had the, I had the opportunity. So um, for me, it's a testimonial who uh, English, is or, or maybe not English, another language is a big opportunity to open a new doors, new ways, new learning uh, paths and something, uh, something else that um, makes you better as a professional and obviously as a person because you relate with other people around the world. Uh, in my case, I knew people from uh, all the Central America, United States, uh, Brazil, even. Uh, 
uh, Dominicana and many other people, but it was it was good to know that I had that level that I didn't know that I had. Very good. So that is very nice. It sounds like a, a very nice experience, and that that you were be you were able to to live. I mean, that is something that happens sometimes. We sometimes we don't know what we are capable to do, but then you are amazed because the opportunity comes and you are able to take it. So that is it's a very good thing. So very good, Juan Miguel. So that was very nice. Okay, any other that wants to share? Well, I am agree with Juan Miguel because uh, right now I'm living a little change in my work. Um, the, the previous year I was working with Dominican Republic and right now I have in a um, change and I'm working with United States. So uh, it's sometimes it's, it's really complex because, uh, well, in my case, I have never uh, been working with um, another, with uh, United States only. In my previous job, I was working with um, Brazil, uh, Colombia and others, but it's really, is another in a is another um, environment. It's totally different because, uh, well, I was uh, sharing with uh, Fernando last time, mm -hmm. and I was uh, tell him that uh, when I start in that position, uh, I have some uh, English calls and it's totally different because uh, when we are in a class and maybe we try to uh, speak slowly and try to mention the correct uh, pronunciation with some errors you know but when you are in life with a native speaker is certainly different. So uh, the nervous, the the thoughts and the, the words, uh, maybe you can get freezing in sometimes and you need to solve. And imagine you, you have a problem, you have a situation and you need to solve and you have to do that. So it's a different, um, different environment in general. And uh, I, I don't, I have, I know that I, I don't, uh, maybe I don't have a lot of vocabulary and I know that I need to improve a lot, but I have uh, opportunity right now in my job. And I'm grateful because uh, when you start in a job, maybe uh, in Salvadorian words, you have to, se tiene que pagar con el derecho de piso. Yeah, you need to, yeah, start from the, yeah. from the bottom, right? You, yeah, you, you need to know the basic and give a little step and when you uh, show your capacity, uh, your knowledge, maybe you can get a um, better opportunity in your job. And all person are maybe in taste. When the session prueba is a taste, taste. Uh, yeah, the tests, yeah, testing. Yeah, but uh, when you have a uh, opportunity to, to Maybe you you don't have uh, enough uh, knowledge in all process, but you have the opportunity and you need to do uh, in the better form. So that's why I continue 
uh, studying English because I, I know that I have to improve a lot and I need to um, get more information and try to solve my situation in my, in my, in my, in my work. So it's totally different. I was telling that, for example, uh, we always uh, in the previous uh, models was talking about marketing or uh, job situations and something like that. But uh, my uh, previous calling was with a bank and I need to uh, I needed to explain some situation in the bank online and the words in the vocabulary were very, very different. So it's an opportunity in general for me and I have to improve and that's why I'm here. Very good, perfect. Yes, uh, yes, it's very important for us to continue, right? Because we are always learning. We're always getting more vocabulary. Sometimes you learn different things from English, but if you practice English, you have the opportunity to go beyond that one. And it's true what you say. I mean, it's not the same to speak here in the class. I mean, the teachers, we try to speak clear and slow so everybody understands. But if you speak with a native speaker, since they are like in a normal speaking, and also since they... Um, don't speak Spanish, sometimes we are not able to understand if you are not speaking clear. So that happens a lot. And it's a very good thing that you have the experience on that one and that uh, if you have the chance, of course, you can move on on that one. That's good. Okay, so you can see that, I mean, we haven't finished the English classes and you, um, I guess everybody's taking advantage of English already. So that is very good. So you are already watching movies or you are like uh, reading books or experiencing new things so that is the motivation of this one and uh, continue with the classes continue try to speak as much as you can here because uh, that's why we're here right sometimes during the day we don't have the chance to to continue practicing so whenever you have the chance here try to do your best in practice Actually, we're going to practice a little bit right now. This is what we are going to do, my friends. I'm going to create some uh, break rooms. You are going to speak with uh, some other people from the group and you are going to do three things. First one is to, to get to know the other person. What do you do? Where do you live? What do you want to do in your free time? Uh, what do you want to do next year on vacations? I don't know, whatever you want to know. The second thing that I want you to to ask is uh, how do you how do you practice your English nowadays? And then the third thing is to share best practices, to share things that you do or that you believe can improve our English level. So we're going to share this one. And at the end, we're going to share the best practices that you discussed mm -hmm. with the class. So uh, we are going to learn from everybody, okay? Do you have any questions about the activity that we are going to do right now? No questions. Okay, so I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. Remember that you are going to, to speak a little bit to get to know the other people. And also that you are going to ask for best practices, how to improve English, okay? And then you are going to share with the whole class. So here we go.
have not. I have not. I have uh, not. Uh, oh, or, oh. Um, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> and after that, uh, always, um, I am working with my son in his homeworks and explain some topic. And after that, I'm here in class. So I don't have a, in my week, regular week, I don't have free time. And about weekend, maybe I try to spend a little time with my family. Um, maybe having dinner or something like that. To search a uh, different client. Um, Are I you try... going to manufacture the product or? or... No, my uh, my father all buy in uh, in Taiwan. Ah, so you're going to be like distributor. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yes. Uh -huh. And have the opportunity because my father uh, have a lot of product for the, this product. Uh -huh. And I don't know. I maybe I started to that my my previous job because are very stressing, uh, the mm -hmm. complicated um, my schedules. I don't like. And I did you resign or stay. did they fire you? No, they fired me. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, but they gave you money. Oh, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Okay, that's a good start for your company. <laughs> uh, the difference is that my father take me for like a similar that seller and it's not necessary for me to buy the, the product. I oh, only yeah. search different clients. So your and father offer. opens the door to you in order to start negotiating with the same seller. And do you... Do you talk to this seller in English because he's here in Taiwan? Uh, no, all the topic for that buy with the um uh say, yeah. To buy the product. All the uh -huh, product. Uh -huh. My father buy all the product uh -huh. uh, with a person to in maybe in, in these companies that have a one um, like this for a representative, no sé ah, uh -huh. and this representative uh, try to um, offer the different product for the different companies in Taiwan ah. and do negotiation with uh, the price, the quotes, or like this, yeah, but, but let me understand. You are uh, exporting or you are in, importing the products from Taiwan? Seria export, uh, lo import, lo exportamos. You are buying, lo, no, lo import. Aha, 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 okay. Yes. okay. But my father, with the company, uh, make all the process. I only yeah. try to search new potential or new clients in El Salvador for to buy a rebound. That's a good opportunity. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. But uh, the future, I think that is all that good. Or Can uh, anything? Well, 
and uh, is I think is the, the the good part of work working uh, by ship. Okay. Uh, hi, Heidi. Okay. <laughs> I think in my case, I am uh, I'm working in a government uh, institution. The name is a uh, Maritime Port Authority. Uh, it is related to all the things that uh, have in common ports and maritime activities. Uh, for example, a uh, um, if you have a boat, you have to register this boat in order to your property, your property is uh, legally um, registered. And how to say this in English? I don't know. Amparada o, 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 o sea, algo que está tu nombre. Okay. Under your uh, name. Okay. Under your name. Um, and a... Uh, this is related with uh, the, the boat. And if you want to uh, pilot, maybe or ride, no, no, it's not ride, ride is a bicycle, uh, pilot a, a <laughs> boat, uh, you have to uh, go to the institution, make an exam or a test. And if you approve with, uh, with uh, some, uh, requirements, some additional requirements, you are able to, to ride the boat. So you have a license to ride a boat and you have a um, the register of your, your boat. Uh, and in the port, in the ports, uh, we see the um, Acajutla activities related to ports and La Union also. Uh, and in my case, I work uh, as the traditional system from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. But uh, sometimes I have to, to go to these offices because uh, the central office or, or the headquarters is located at San Benito or in San Benito. And uh, we have some uh, additional offices in Acajutla, Sunsuna. So uh, I, I got lost sometimes in the in the, the podcast are saying, <laughs> but, but uh, listening music and, and reading is these two forms. And you, Marcos? What's For me, um, the way I practice my English is listening music and also singing. <laughs> Also, uh, I don't think I am a good singer, but anyway, you know, it's something that relaxing is somehow. So, um, mm, trying to to say the chorus liars for every song, I learn vocabulary, and I also I learn how to to say them. I learn um. Uh, I don't know, or, but yeah, uh, I learned in in that way, and also um, in my job, I I used to to learn some blogs or or pages in, in English, so it's that that is important to me because also I solve the problems and and learn English. So that these two are my principal ways of learning English, my best practice. Okay. 
you, Fernando? <clears throat> well, in my case, I lately I I I had the, the habit to watching videos in social media, especially on TikTok, because um, they had short videos and some people do videos uh, with some tips about I don't know bears or or hard words. Uh, you know, some or phrases, phrases, bears, you know, and it's very fast watching. And in some, in so far, you, you learn uh, maybe a little things about, about English. And, you know, you, you always have time for, for social medias. In my case, I tried to take advantage of this time and try to improve my skill. But um, sometimes I I say the, the, the things because they require more time to focus and learn. Uh, and I hope that in the future I will have time to to dedicate for for learn that things and other thing that I do is reading some news or like the the like the gear in the video say, I speak with myself because I don't have a native speaker to practice. So that's my way. And we have with us uh, Jose Wilfredo. Jose Wilfredo, okay. What about you, Jose Wilfredo? What is your way to practice your English? Or your best your best practices to improve your English? I'm sorry guys. I'm I'm not paying attention right now because I have one inconvenience with my family. So I didn't hear the the question. I don't know if you can repeat it. Okay, okay. Um the question is, what are you, or how do you practice your English every day in order to improve? improve the oh, okay. I practice improve. every day at my, I practice every day in my job because I have to share some important information with the main client of the customer. And that's why I'm, I'm practicing my English. And that's the way that I'm improved every day. Way. Okay. Uh,
Okay, everybody. So on the first group, we had uh, Jose Rivas, Roxana, and Sonia, I guess. So who wants to share? What are the best practices that you can share that uh, for us to improve English? Well, to be honest, um, try to uh, practicing with another person. Uh, for example, Sonia was talking that her uh, son well, can uh, speak uh, a little English and she can uh, practice in with, with with him in in lunch time or dinner and is a uh, good practice for for her and jose was talking that he he's working in a call center so he always is practicing english and heard some sounds and watching movies and something like that. And in my case, I was sharing that, uh, to be honest, I, I don't practice a lot just in my work, uh, but sometimes uh, I try to uh, watching some English uh, series and a good practice maybe uh, is download the uh, app to interact with um, people in another country. So, you know, app is specific to learning uh, a language. That okay. is. Very good, perfect. Hello, mommy. ¿Qué tal? <coughs> Bien, mira. Fíjate que ya me escribió Isela, que ya está de... Well, Isela, you're going to need to wait. So, on the second group, uh, we had Ana Claudia, Giselle, and Maria Alejandra. Could you please help us and share, anybody? What were the best practices that you do or that you spoke about? I was telling to the girls that the way that I practice uh, to, to improve my English, and I remember that that I I I told you I think that maybe in a class before, but for me the best way is of work. It works for works for me uh, when I watch series or a movie without the subtitles. I try. I'm not the best in that, but I tried. And when I don't understand a word or the, I, I just put the subtitles and I read the word. And if I don't know the the meaning, I search the meaning to understand understand the whole sentence or the like the context of the of the scene. And sometimes I practice my English in here in my house with my with my daddy, my sister, my brother. And I just tell the girls that I think that our neighbors sometimes think that we are weird or we are not normal because we speak in English. And the houses, you know, here in the South Dollar, it's not like the house is like just a, a wall. It's like the division, you know, and you shared like everything with your neighbors. And it's funny. Um, but yeah, I think that the best way to to practice or to, sorry, to, to improve my English, my personal practice is speaking, yeah, with, with, the, with the people that when, when I feel with the people that I feel confident. And yeah, that may be uh, watching series and movies. Okay, very well, perfect, thank you. On the other um, room, it was Francisco, Heidi, and Juan Miguel. So anybody wants to share? Uh, me too, sure. Um, well, uh, uh, in my case, uh, I think for me the the, the best uh, the best the best way for improve my English. Uh, uh, I subscribe for uh, many um, channels on YouTube, 
and, and for example, I, I search uh, uh, how to improve my, my English and, and they, uh, they do show many videos. And I, for example, uh, uh, there are a channel that uh, they have uh, videos, for example, for one hour uh, talking in, in English uh, and the, the, the other word, uh, way that uh, uh, I start to uh, practice is, is read a book in English. And for, for me, uh, uh, where there are the, the uh, this is, sorry, this is uh, the, the way to improve my, my English. And the, and the other is, is listen podcast in Spotify. Perfect, very good. Thank you, very interesting. So many things that we can do, right? On the last group, we had Danny, Fernando, Jose, Wilfredo, and Marcos. Who wants to share? I want to. Okay. Okay. Um, we were talking about the different different for to 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 practice and improve the English skill, but um, we have um, different like reading, uh, listening music, podcast, reading books. But I think that the best the best for uh, has so with brother because they work and they and sorry job they need to use English and his daily activities and it's the best way when it's mandatory for you because it's the best way to improve. So I think that I need a job like this. If you know <laughs> some vacancy let me know please. Of course I will let you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. So definitely, if you are speaking with some other people or native people, that's definitely the best way, right? But there are always good ways for us to practice. So podcasts or reading a book, watching movies, there are many things that we can do. And the good thing is that you were able to know each other. So uh, to speak with other people is always nice. So nice, nice practice. So uh, we're going to check the attendance for today, my friends. So Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Good. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Good. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present. Good. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Good. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Good. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Iriana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present teacher. Good. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Good. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present teacher. Good. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Good. Juan Miguel Bran Mejía. Present teacher. Good. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Good. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Ibet Asensio de Mejía. Present. Good. Sonia Guadalupe Benítez de Claros. Present teacher. Good. Suleima Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you. Have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow in Dream in English. Good night. 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 Good night.